Are you even listening to me at all? Dave! Look. What is going on? Why have you been giving me all this cold treatment? Huh? Talk to me. What's the problem? What's the problem? Yes. Now you ask me, what's the problem? I'm tired. I'm tired of lazing about in this house. For the past four years, all I do is eat, sleep, do groceries, take Audrey to school. I'm tired. I'm not your maid. I'm your wife and I deserve to be absolutely... Hey, 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 hey. So, this is why you've been giving me all this attitude. Fencing me out for no cause of mine, for nothing that I have done. Look, it was you that said that you were getting stressed from the job you were doing. And I agreed with you that there is no point in you continue. I should work and you are supposed to stay home and take care of our child, our children. Have I not done my part well? So what are you talking about? Look at me. Dave, I graduated top of my class. You know that. But ever since, what have I been doing? I just sit in this house and do absolutely nothing. While my mates are out there doing excellently well. I want to change the narrative. I want to go out there, get a job, and experience a new type of happiness. Happiness, you say? Michelle, have I not provided all your needs? Have I not given you everything that you need? Have I, have I failed in any regard? Michelle, let me tell you, and I'll be very frank with you, I do not support you going to get a job out there then you do not approve of peace in this house. I mean, what is all this? You want to put me in a box all in the name of marriage? No, I won't take it. I will not take it, Dave. Hey, what's this all about? What's wrong with you, Michelle? Abinisho, we both agreed. You stay home. Take care of the family. I go out and fend for us. I think I've done a damn good job. You, I don't support going out to get another job. And I'm tired of this going back and forth. I have a session to attend at the gym and I don't want to be late. Good day. I'll get a job. I'm not buying that rubbish you're talking about. I want to be like Julie. I want to be like my mates. Look at me. Who are you listening to? Who know. are you watching? Yeah? I don't know what you're talking about, Mama. Listen to me, young lady. Marriage is not child's play. Inanuya, you don't need to raise shoulders at your husband. Because I never did it to your father. Marriage is compromise. I know when you made the decision to resign from your place of work. In fact, you made the decision yourself. And ever since then, your husband has been taking good care of you and your daughter. So what else are you looking for? I know I made the decision to resign my job, mom. But things have changed. I need to dust my CV and get a job. Mm -hmm. I need to start building my career. Mom, I'm not getting any younger. Career? What's a career? Against the detriment of your home. Okay? The Bible says, 
a wise woman builds her home. But it's the foolish one that does what? That destroys her home. Meaning, I have said all I have to say to you. Also, go again. If you like, don't listen to me. Let me go and see my granddaughter and know how she's doing. If you like, pretend as if you've not heard me say anything. It's left to you. Adam Naya, look at the time. Look at when you're coming back home. A married woman. Adam Naya, you left this house since 9 a.m. And you're just coming back now. Huh. Assuming I'm not in this house, that is how the school bus would have carried my granddaughter back to school to wait for you until you finish gallivanting around the town before you go and pick her. Okoya? Mom, it's not like that. I was with my friend, Julie, and we had a very lengthy conversation. Then I visited her office project. I could have come back home earlier, Mama, but you know the traffic. Rejection. Elanoya, look at the nonsense that is coming out from this gutter you call mouth. Imagine what you're saying. I went with my friend to inspect her, her office project. Did you ever know Inspector General of Projects? Or Minister of Works? Which one? Do you know what? Sometimes I wonder the way you reason. I don't know how you reason sometimes. Mom, I don't like the way you're shouting at me in my house. Come on, Shut up! I don't like the way I talk to you. You have grown now. So you can now rub shoulder with me. If I give you this hand, eh? If me this my hand, land on your cheek, that's your brain. It will reset it for you. Look at how my granddaughter was busy eating that food, the way she was eating, to show that she was hungry. You want this girl to develop ulcer? Okay? <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to let me quickly prepare dinner and then I'll finish my daughter's assignments. Sorry, no. I'm Don't bother sorry. yourself. I've already made the dinner. What you need to go, just go up. Shower. Take your razor. You come and guide her on her assignments. Nemo. Mom, Nemo. Thank you. Mommy, you know I love you. I love you too. But if you try it again next time, I will show you better. Or I'm mama. Please wake up. Honey. Mm. Could I just allow me to enjoy this, my sleeping peace? Please. You said I couldn't wait. We need to talk. Please wake up. See, it's about this friction that's been going on between us for some time now. I think we should talk about it. I don't know what you're talking about. If you know what I'm talking about. I have decided to let you go and look for a job. 
Bailey? That's what you want. Are you sure? I'm sure, darling. Now that's the man I married. Mm. Oh, come on. Daddy, thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. But on one condition. She must be able to balance your role as a worker and that of a mother and a wife. And above all, as the matriarch of this family. That's is not a problem, my king. 